Hi everyone, it's Chad. Welcome to Maker's Bench. So a little while ago I did my video on firing up my, my Prusa i3 Mark II S and uh, I ran into a problem with the hot end and I've been waiting for a part to arrive. Well, it's here. So uh, what I got was the cable and this is a heater cartridge that goes into the hot end and then this stuff is what plugs into the uh, Rambo board. So I have to repair my printer. I have to pull my the old cable out and have to put the new one in. So it's going to require quite a bit of teardown to get to this point and be able to put that cable in. I'm going to get started on that today. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to try to swap out my bearings. Um, so I've got some bearings here. I don't know if you can. Let me see if I can focus that. All right. So there's a bearing. This is a dry lend bearing. Um, it has got a metal case around it. There's no roller bearings in there. It's just a. Let's see if I can get this back. It's just a, um, it's got some oil impregnated in the material. I, I, I don't know all the words for what the actual material is and stuff, but um, it's got, basically there's a oil impregnated in the material. So as it slides back and forth, um, it's self lubricating. So they're supposed to be a lot quieter than the roller bearings. Uh, I'm gonna try to swap out the bearings on both the X and the Y axis. I'm gonna leave the Z alone for now because uh, like I said before, we'd have to um, print I have to print new parts for the z-axis to fit those bearings these the cases on these bearings um, are 16 millimeters and the original bearings are 15 millimeters so I think I can make them work on the other two on the x and the y axis but the z will need some work so I'm gonna give that a shot and I'm gonna do some more time-lapse videos of that of me doing all this work and uh, as I'm going along if I have any problems or I think anything needs to be said I'll stop again and, and make comments but uh, so that's what I've got going and that's what I'm going to do. We'll see you later. I got this thing stripped down. I thought I got the Y axis off. I got the X axis off. Um, I got my hot end off, all that stuff. And one of the things I just tested and I thought was pretty interesting was I took the rod that the Y carriage goes on and I've got one of the old bearings on here. So I don't know if we can, we'll see if we can hear this. So you can hear it, you know, and, and uh, with the three of them on there, it was pretty loud. I thought it was pretty interesting when I took the dryland bearing, I put that on here. I can't even hear it. I mean, it's it's really quiet. So I'm actually pretty excited to give this a shot. So hopefully this all works and I can get it put back together now. So we'll see. Okay, well, the repair is going pretty well so far. Uh, I didn't stop to show the um, heater cartridge like I probably should have, but it was very, very simple, very straightforward. This is the this is the old one. So this is the part that I got from uh, Prusa. They sent this out to me because my heater core wasn't my heater wasn't working. So this is a cartridge, and basically the heater block is just a little clamp. It's got a little screw on there. You loosen that screw up, this thing slid right out. I put in put the new one in tighten it all back up. Uh, I had to clip the zip ties and then zip tie it back together, the wire bundle. Um, and then on the other end, there are these two little prongs and these two little prongs simply, the connector that goes into the control board has two screws. You just loosen those screws up, pull the old ones out, 
I put these into the new uh, connect, into the connector, retighten the screws, plug it back in, uh, and the heater is working now. At least it was. Um, now the the one thing I ran into with doing the bearings that I, I didn't foresee is that on the the Y carriage, the bearings are 16 mil. These new bearings are 16 millimeter. The old ones were 15. So we're it's a millimeter bigger. Um, what happens is when the print bed comes all the way forward, so the printer is trying to print on the back of the print bed, the bearing is, the bottom of this bearing is hitting the, the front leg on the frame, the little plastic piece that the rail zip ties to and all the threaded rod are bolted to. So there's a little half round in there where the bearing is supposed to slide over. Well, this one is hitting. So I'm gonna take my, my trusty Dremel here. I'm gonna, I've got a little grinding stone on the, on the front end and it's a half a millimeter. I'm just gonna try to grind that out a little bit on that piece of plastic. Um, and we'll see if I can get enough clearance in there to get that bearing to go over smoothly. Uh, if I can't, I'm gonna have to put the old bearings back in until I can reprint a front leg um, because I could take the front leg and I could make that a little bit bigger and then reprint it. So I'm gonna hopefully get this to work and uh, we'll see how it goes. So I'll come back when I'm done. Okay, so I think I got it all put back together. I think that it's gonna work with those bearings. Uh, I don't know that I even, I might not have needed to grind out that material. I think it was bumping on there, so I mean, I just took a little bit out and it actually, the bearing goes right over the top now, so I don't know that I needed to do that. Uh, what I did find out though was that after I did that, I could see the bearing was sliding over just fine, but I, as it gets down to that front end, I was just really getting, it was like you had to give it a nudge and once you got, it's, it's binding up in there. and. So I thought I had everything nice and straight, nice and perpendicular, everything was good. But what it looks like is my front, the front of my frame was out a little bit wider than the backside. Cause I could slide the backside up to this back end and just pull it nice and it was smooth, it was nice and smooth. So I got a ruler out and I measured um, from rod to rod, basically where the rod meets the plastic, I used that line and I measured across and I was a little wider on the front. So I uh, just undid the side nuts on the leg and then I loosened up the nuts um, on the inside of the leg. I slid it over just a little bit, remeasured, tightened it up uh, and then I tried to, and it's much, much better. So it's not binding anymore and I think that was my problem. Uh, I'm not perfect at this stuff. I'm learning just like everybody else. So uh, hopefully we can take that as a lesson too. You know, you really gotta make sure that that, where the bearings are sliding on those rails, it has to be the same distance, you know, that whatever that dimension is across there, it has to be perfect. Otherwise, because if it gets wider at the end, those bearings are gonna bind up and that's, that's what was happening. So in the end, I'm gonna get a better, it, it's gonna work better, it's gonna function better because you know, through doing this, I found that that was a problem where with the other bearings in there, I didn't realize that I was having a problem because the machine was working. What happened when I tried to fire it up last night is that it was, the motor started jumping when that print bed was all the way forward and it couldn't pull it back. And that's where I'm finding that that binding was happening. But so uh, hopefully I'm gonna try to fire it up now and uh, try to run through the calibration stuff and see if I can get it going. So wish me luck. Okay, so when I was putting the video together, I realized I didn't finish and film an end segment for that video, and I'm doing that now. It's a few days later. But basically, the printer went back together. We got it all fixed back up to where I was at the point where when I was doing my powering it up video when the hot end stopped working. So got the hot end working. I got the new bearings in. The machine's running well. Uh, the calibration's all done. Uh, that's all set to go. So. For this video, for the repair video, um, like I said, the, the the cartridge was really easy to do. The bearings, I got the bearings worked out. The biggest thing was getting that, getting that uh, the carriage to be straight. Uh, once I adjusted that, those things slide nice. It's really, really does work really well. I really do like the dryland bearings so far. I'm very happy with them. 
um, and also you know getting that getting that carriage right dialed in now I, I feel much better about that so uh, I've been I've actually managed to print a few things um, that type of thing so the next video I do will be the uh, powering it up part two and we'll get that out here shortly so thanks for watching uh, if you want to subscribe that'd be great I'd really love it I'd love to see your comments below um, tell me what you thought of this video and we'll talk to you later see you next time